This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, and online store. Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. I first want to start off by apologizing for my absence from my videos. I have been sick. Um, if you cannot tell with my voice, I did recently lose it as well. It's still coming back, but it is better than what it was. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video to show all of you a few tweaks that I am currently enjoying. So when I get better and my voice returns, I will be releasing more videos. But in the meantime, please continue to bear with me. Show your continuous support as I greatly appreciate all of it. Now, I'm just going to be showing you a few tweaks. I'm not going to show you a lot, but just some that I do currently have installed on my device that I think that you may enjoy as well. So first up, we have Stride. Now, what Stride is, is it allows you to draw your passcode. Instead of typing it in, you can draw it. So I'm going to slide to unlock down here and draw my passcode, which is a check mark. And my device is now unlocked. Now Stride does have a few options. One is to turn the tweak on or off. And then the next is to show the green highlight so that when you're drawing, it will highlight what you're drawing in green. You can also change your passcode here. So this is where you can draw what it is. And then you have a few options in terms of how sensitive it is to what you're writing up there for your passcode. And when you're finished, you would just select save. Now you will need to set a passcode as a backup in case it does have trouble reading what you're writing, such as a numeric passcode. Um, but other than that, that's really it for Stride. Next, we have Lock Screen Extender. Now, what Lock Screen Extender does is exactly what it says. It extends the length that you can see your lock screen. So you can turn this tweak on or off and you can change how long it um, takes before the screen does dim, as well as you can change it for how long it waits when it's docked. So say, for instance, you wanted two minutes when it's off the charger, but you rather it take a longer time to dim when it's on the charger, being that it is charging. You also have a few other options in here, such as hiding the lock screen's clock or date. And that's really it. So there's not too much to the tweak. It just pretty much gives you the option to have your lock screen stay lit up um, a little bit longer than normal, which is your phone's default. Now, and speaking in terms of lock screens, this one, my, I must say, is a pretty cool one. And it's known as Timely and it's free to make it even better. So it gives you the time in words here. You just kind of have to read through it and you can change the background as well as the color of the text here for your lock screen. So if I hop into my settings and I go to Timely here, you'll see that I can turn the tweak off or on. I can also choose to use the wallpaper that comes with Timely and I can change the highlighted text color, which you saw was previously red. I can change it to something like yellow and then I can alter the dim text to let's go with blue. And then the background color is currently black. Let's go with white just to change it up. And then I can go back to my lock screen. And you'll notice those changes have taken effect, pretty much the gist of how it would look. Now, the next tweak that I have for all of you is known as magic badges. So this particular tweak, you'll notice that my badges here look a little bit different. As you can see, they're a little bit bigger. They're also in the bottom right corner instead of the top right corner. So if I hop into my settings into magic badges, you'll see that we can adjust a few things from within here. So for one, you can just easily move where you want the badge to be. So I can select to have it over here instead. You can also change change the size by pinching it. So hopefully you can see that getting bigger and smaller as I pinch the screen. You can also change the option to outline the badge or not, as well as if you want it to be the original badge, the badge that matches the icon that it's on, or if you want to customize the color of it all together. And then when you have it the way you like, you can just select save and it'll save your changes, respring and it's done. So that's really it for magic badges, but it does alter the look of your home screen ever so slightly because it changes the look of your badges that appear. Now for my last tweak I have for all of you, it is called slide up to unlock. So instead of your typical slide to unlock gesture you would use down here by going to the right, you can now come to the bottom right hand side and slide up to unlock your device. Now there are a few options for slide up to unlock, but not many such as turning the tweak on or off or hiding the unlock icon, which is what you saw in the bottom right when I did slide up to unlock my um, iPod here. But overall, that's really everything that I had to show you all. I hope these tweaks were some that you enjoy. Please drop down which ones you did along with any other questions and comments you have for me. I do apologize for sounding so nasty in this video, but I do appreciate it if you did make it this far into this video and listening. But like I said, I'm trying to get better, trying to get more videos out. I appreciate your patience and understanding. Now, something else I 
would like to address with all of you is that I'm currently in the midst of trying to create a website. I get a lot of questions about different things about my videos, as well as I want to have a central location to provide the wallpapers that I use in my videos, which I oftentimes get questions about as well. So just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be doing this with Squarespace, which brings me to the next thing I would like to talk to you all about. If you are all interested in creating a website, by all means, don't sit on the idea. Go ahead and put some action into that idea. And you can do that by getting 10% off of your own Squarespace website by using the referral code either down below in the description box or I'm attach it up here in this video. But if you use that code, then you're able to get 10% off of your own website as well and share your ideas with the world. Now, to me, the things that set Squarespace out from others is that it's simple and it's easy to use. It has a gorgeous design along with the option to drag and drop your content. So not a lot of diggering around for things and such. You also have 24 seven support through live chat and email. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering, so how much does this cost? How much am I going to be investing into this website if I so choose to go ahead and do one? And the plans start at only $8 a month and it includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. So go ahead and start your trial with no credit card required and start building your website today as I thank Squarespace for their support and hopefully you will be as well because hopefully you're heading over there now to go ahead and check out that website. Let me know what you think about it. Drop it down below. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.